Another big issue before the court, Supreme Court, is a potential uh, constitutional amendment to expand the use and availability of solar power in the state of Florida, um, solar energy. Some very big interests uh, are taking a big interest in this effort and are opposing it uh, strongly. Uh, who are they and uh, what are they doing? What are, the, what are their arguments before the court? Well, it might help to back up a little bit. The, there's a group called Floridians for Solar Choice that has uh, proposed this, this ballot initiative for the 2016 ballot uh, to, uh, again, like you said, to try to expand the use of, of solar, solar power. One, uh, the, it's a complicated subject, and one of, the, one of the things that they are proposing would allow commercial uh, businesses to uh, generate and sell up to two megawatts of, of solar energy to adjoining properties or, you know, those sorts of things. And um, so... Commercial businesses like what? Well, I, I think retailers are probably, would be probably interested in this. I mean, they use a ton of... Uh, big retailers? Small big, re reta big retailers use a lot of electricity. I mean, they cool their buildings. They cool, they have freezers. They have, you know, so that's, you know, one potential. But it could be other large large users of electricity who have access who, who, who put in solar and who might have excess and sell it right and or it can be on adjoining properties as well there gotcha. may be some sorts of deals where uh, you know someone else could put in solar and sell it to them you know I'm, I'm not sure how all that would play out at this point uh, but you know so this group is is gathered i think it's 100 and there are over 125,000 petition signatures to get on the 2016 ballot they have taken their language which is another uh, ballot language to the supreme court they had our supreme court heard arguments last week uh, the supreme court's supposed to consider whether this ballot wording is clear whether it should go before voters uh, as you alluded to there's some very powerful uh, opposition to it. One is Attorney General Pam Bondi has argued against it, and her Solicitor General argued against it in the Supreme Court last week, saying that this isn't clear, it wouldn't be clear to, to voters or consumers. But I think what's getting more attention is that uh, the, uh, the four major investor-owned electric utilities are opposed to it. Florida Power and Light, Duke Energy Florida, Tampa Electric Company, and Gulf Power are all opposed to it. They had Barry Richard, who is one of the most prominent attorneys on constitutional issues, on uh, business issues in, in around the Capitol, arguing on their behalf in the Supreme Court last week. And um, so they are arguing it shouldn't even make it to the ballot. But if it does, well, if it gets through the Supreme Court hurdle, this Floridians for Solar Choice group is going to have to come up with a whole lot more signatures, <laughs> 683,000 signatures to get out of the ballot. But if it does make it through those those hurdles, I think we're going to see a big political fight next year over this this uh, this proposal. Because well, I understand it, and I'm not a lawyer, but the, the court is supposed to be looking at um, issues like uh, does the language, the summary language of the ballot, does does it speak to more than one subject? Uh, is it? Uh, understandable, et cetera. It's not supposed, the court's not supposed to be looking at the merits of the issue. Is that correct? Th that is correct. And during the oral arguments last week, uh, the, the justices were essentially uh, saying to the opponents, hey, you're arguing the merits of this. You're not arguing the legal language of this. So, um, you know, the, the Supreme Court is supposed to take a fair, fairly narrow view of, of how it re, uh, looks at these, these proposals. Uh, again, whether it's, whether it's going to be, really, when you bring it down to it, when it goes before the voters, are they going to know what they're, they're reading, what, what, the, what the proposal is, or is it misleading? Because we've seen some ballot initiatives in the past that have been very misleading in terms of the title of them and so on. So the Supreme Court is there to sort of filter out the uh, uh, language that could be misconstrued. Uh, but it's a very important part of this process. And again, they, they did uh, sort of say, you know, Mr. Richard, you know, you're, you're arguing the merits here as opposed to the ballot language. On the other hand, the Attorney General's office 
also was arguing against the ballot language. So, um, you know, we're not sure where that, uh, where the court will wind up on it, but they'll be ruling fairly soon. This issue will be around for a long time. Thank you, Jim. For more news about Florida politics and government, visit the advances section of our website.